Get it now, sit in in the black At how you shook my hand A knife behind your back It's no lie, I'll be coming After you, it's no lie So when I, uh, uh, I already alluded to it, but uh, what I hear in your guys' music and what I think the fans of bands like Rush will, will like it um, is the, 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 the in or the angle with uh, anything Rush related in, in Heavy Glow is when I heard it, I thought, well, here's kind of a, uh, you know, there's a lot more to it. I think the influences you list on your, your site are probably closer to the truth, like Cream and those, uh, those early 70s uh, hard rock plus, plus some of the punk influences, but uh, early early rush, you know, first two albums, plus a little bit more prog change up, um, even in that early rush, but with a baritones vocalist versus you know Getty Lee's whale, is how I'd characterize it. It's very cool. So how do you um, you guys mix up the uh, rhythmic and harmonic elements more than other bands who sound like you guys on the surface? Uh, what's your approach to doing that? You guys doing that conscious, or is that just the music you hear in your head? Um, it's probably a little bit of both. Um, I have a really good rhythm section. I mean, Dan and Joe are really good at turning the beat up on their head. You know what I mean? They'll just turn the, the whole thing around. Um, and, and some of it, too, is just you don't want to do the same thing over and over. Um, so, I mean, there's a very, I think in the music there's a very tasteful prog rock element in the sense of it's not your typical three-minute verse chorus, verse chorus, you know, maybe a bridge um, kind of kind of song. Um, it's not, it's, it's straightforward without being, um, predictable. Yeah. I mean, it, it's not predictable, but at the same time, I don't want to make music for musicians only. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. you know, it, I, I mean, we could very easily get off on you know, doing a 10 minute jam and it would be really cool for us. And the musicians in the room would, you know, high five us at the end of the night, but I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's all like, instrumental masturbation i don't know i'm just not <laughs> yeah yeah there's a term a funny term i heard that was a they call it achievement rock yeah i mean I, I would much rather just have tasteful elements in the, in the music and something that you know might throw you a little bit you know for the sake of of subtlety um but doesn't throw you so much that it's distracting so right cool but, i mean yeah I, I appreciate the the um the comparison to rush too i mean the first thing that i think of when i you know, think of Rush as working man. I think we probably talked about it last time too. But um, I can't tell you how many times I'd you know, I'd be working outside or something, and then that song would come on. And I just thought it was the you know the absolute best thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's what I, that's exactly the vintage I was thinking of. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a very super simple song. I mean I think there's only really two parts, and then the guitar solo breaks off into almost almost kind of a riff. But it's the guitar solo is so hooky that you know it catches with it anyway. 
Uh, I mean, it's got that jam, frog rock, you know, bit to it. I don't know. No, agreed. So, what do you? Uh, what's what's up with you guys lately? You guys have any any uh, big gigs you want to promote, or or events, or albums? You alluded to something you're working on now, but uh, now's the chance. Anything going on? Yeah, definitely. We are halfway through an album right now, so that should be out here hopefully in the next few months. Um, it's going to be our first full length. Um, we're pretty excited about it. Our um, our last EP, The Filth and the Fury, um, was just nominated for Best Rock Album of the Year uh, here in San Diego. Um, every year San Diego has uh, music awards. They've been doing it for 25, 26 years or something like that. Um, and our little EP got nominated for Best Rock Album of the Year. So uh, Cool. That's been you know the big news here lately. So pretty excited about it. So you know if, if any of your listeners have not heard it yet, um, you know they should go check it out definitely. Cool. No, I I, uh, I always include one or uh, two songs. That don't mind. I'll take my pick of the favorite two favorites and uh, intersperse them within our uh, conversation. Cool. Uh, great. So that Jared, this has been great talking to you again. Stay in touch, and thanks for talking to us. Thanks for listening to another podcast from bandslikerush.com. Again, check out Heavy Glow at their website, heavyglowmusic.com. We'll close the podcast with another full-length track from the band's last album. This, this one is called Traylin' St. Judas Blues. See ya. Fall and fall is fairer still. 